what we've got today is one of my favorite days and that's leg day. Uh, we are going to do this workout together in that um, uh, three, two, one format that I like to play around with. We are going to be going through the section using weights three times, the section using our loop band two times, and then the explosive cardio one time. So that kind of gives you the idea of how this is going to work. You start your dynamic warm up get those legs warmed up and ready to roll while I talk to you uh, about what our first set or first three, two, one series is going to look like. You're going to need your weights for your legs, so heavier weights generally speaking, and you're going to need your loop band for this uh, workout. We're going to be using our timer so that we all stay on the same pace. Set at 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. If you want to do this with reps, great. Uh, I would say do 10 to 12 reps with all the exercises using weights and do 15 to 20 reps with all the exercises using the loop band. Okay. Um, our first uh, weighted exercises are going to be the Romania deadlift or the stiff uh, legged deadlift and the bottoms up goblet squat. So let me show you that while what those look like while you're uh, still finishing up your dynamic uh, warm up here. The deadlift. You're going to hold a weight in each hand. As you know, you're going to be hinging at the hips and keeping these weights close to your legs as they ride down the front. So hinging at the hips, neutral neck looking down between my feet, weights run down the front of my legs, and I pull back up using hamstring and glute. Okay, we're going to do that for 30 seconds. We'll get a 15 second break. I'm going to put one of those weights down and then I hold it vertically for my goblet squat. With the goblet squat, you get that comfortable position with your feet, but we're gonna start bottoms up goblet squat. So I'm starting down here. Get yourself set in that nice low goblet squat position. My booty's back, my chest is upright. I'm pushing through my heels. I go up, down, up, down. So our pause is at the bottom. We're going to cycle through those two A, B, A, B, A, B three times. So wrap up that dynamic warm up, grab the weights you need, and we'll get started here with our first three, two, one series. Okay, grab your weights. Let's get going on our deadlift. Make sure you keep your core nice and tight. Here we go through the entire exercise. My neck is neutral by looking down between my feet. Those weights stay right next to my shins. And I'm pulling up using my hamstring and glutes here. Good. Put one weight down, depending on what you've got, or grab your other weight. However you're doing this, we've got our bottoms up goblet. Hold that weight vertically. Get down into that goblet. Now I push up, back down. Up, back down. Push through those heels. Keep that chest upright. The paws at the bottom changes up our goblet squat a little bit. The reason we can cycle so quickly back and forth between these two weighted exercises, break, grab your other weight so we're ready for the deadlift, is that it's a superset, meaning I'm working two opposing muscle groups. So now we're going Round two here, back 
to our glutes and the goblet is working our quad so we can cycle back and forth between these two exercises quickly because while we're working one we're resting the other and vice versa it's a quick and efficient approach to your weight training which Cindy and I love she just did the superset with our upper body oh last week I've lost track of time bottoms up goblet here we go bottom up but when you cycle through opposing muscle groups like that you can do it quickly push through the heels Again, you know, my favorite piece of equipment is that mirror. Are you keeping your chest upright? Push through the heels, the pause is at the bottom. Excellent. Grab that other weight. We're gonna do this pair one more time. This is the three in our three, two, one. Workout three times through using weights. Keep that core engaged. If your core is engaged, you've got a nice flat back. If your core is not engaged, you end up with that hump in your back. Keep it tight. If I poked you in the stomach right now, is it tight and engaged? Break. Last time through our bottoms up goblet. Let's start down at the bottom. And the thing I love about legs, here we go, push through the heels, is just by using my big muscle groups, my heart rate's up. Obviously, the heavier weights you use, the higher your heart rate will be. The more bend you have in this goblet squat, the higher your heart rate. If you don't bend your legs much, your heart rate won't get as high. Break, okay. We just worked our way through the weighted portion of this series. Now grab your loop band. We're going to uh, go through the banded portion of this series two times with the donkey kick here, something we're all familiar with. So what I want you to do is get that loop band so that it is underneath your plant knee there. I'm on all fours, shoulders and wrists are stacked, knees and hips are stacked, and for 30 seconds, we're going to do a donkey kick on one side, then make sure the band gets under that other knee, and we're gonna do donkey kick on the other side. Then round two of our band exercises, we're gonna do a pulse, okay? So remember, with the bands, we're only working through the exercises twice. All right, get your band set up ready here. You with me? All right, let's start with our left leg plant. So that band is underneath my left knee and we're gonna go here in three, two, one with the donkey kick. Here we go. Flex that foot all the way up, all the way down. Enjoy that full range of motion. If you don't have a loop band here, that's okay. Still do these exercises with us and you'll feel it. The loop band just makes you feel it quicker, okay? Now, get the loop band under your right knee and we'll do a donkey kick on the other side. Here we go, three, two, one. Flex that foot, donkey kick on the other side. With the bands, this 
in this first series, we are working our glutes here. Next series, we'll work our quads with the band. So we're just gonna kind of alternate when it comes to the band work. Great, get that band back under the left knee. We're gonna do a pulse. So I want that thigh as high as you can get it. Flex that foot and we're pulsing it up for our 30 seconds. Here we go, pulse it up. it up there look at your mirror are you keeping that thigh as least parallel to the ground and up here that's our goal keep it up there Ooh, break get that band under the right knee and we're gonna pulse on the other side here keep that strong framework we go. If this bothers your lower back at all, you can always come down to your elbows on this. It takes some of the, the pressure off your lower back. Otherwise, keep those hips square and pulse that leg up there. Keep it as high as you can. I don't have my mirror in front of me here, so it's hard. Okay, break. Last exercise is the explosive cardio. And the good news here is, you guessed it, we only do it one time through. So what we're going to be doing here is the three pulse jump squat. Okay. Yeah. I got stuff above me, as you know, as you all know. So three pulse jump squat. One, two, three, jump and land soft, okay? If the jump is too much, you just stand and go back down to the three pulse. But we're going to use some explosive movement here with our legs just to finish off this three, two, one leg circuit, okay? So get yourself ready and embrace the fact that we only have to do this one time. That's it. Three pulse jump squat, 30 seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, explode and land soft. Uh, use your mirror here to see how much air you can get underneath your feet. If you're not jumping, you're just coming to a stand and you should have a much faster tempo going here than those of us that are jumping. Get me some air. Get me some air on those jumps. Bend those legs. Break. Nice work. For our second three, two, one series, our weighted exercises are a weighted glute raise. I'm going to do this on the floor uh, here for this. However, it can be done with your back up against the bench sort of that elevated glute raise, which I, I also uh, enjoy. So for the weighted glute raise on the floor, I've got to make sure that my heels are pulled in pretty tight so that they're stacked underneath my knees here. They're not out here. That's not stacked. Here, pull it in tight. If you got to grab the back of your shoe and pull that in, do it. But you can see my ankle is right underneath my knee. That's what we mean by stacked here. I've got my weight as heavy as you can go on that and I'm resting it on my hips, okay? So head down on the ground, holding this weight here so it doesn't roll back and knock out all of my teeth. Pushing through those heels. I don't know if the camera picks this up, but my toes are actually off the ground here. I'm pushing through the heels entirely. We're gonna go up, pause at the top, halfway down, up. It's a one and a half glute raise here and down. Up, half, up, 
pause, down, up, half, up, pause, down, okay? One and a half glute raise. Then we're gonna get up off the floor, which will be part of our cardio, frankly, for the uh, Bulgarian split squat. I've stacked up all my plate weights back here to give me some elevation back here. If, you're, if you've got steps nearby, you can put your back foot on a step. If you have a little stool, uh, something that's gonna elevate that back leg for you um, in this split squat, Bulgarian split squat. So back leg, I like to have the toe, my toe on the front of that elevation. I take a pretty nice step out. I've got a weight um, on both sides here uh, in my hands, and I'm going to lower that back knee down and up. Push through the heel in the front, down and up. We're going to do 30 seconds on one leg, 30 seconds on the other, and then we're back down for our weighted glute raise. If having that back leg elevated is too much for you, then we're just simply going to do, here are your options, just a split squat, with both feet on the ground. If that's still uh, too much for you, you can do a simple reverse lunge as well. Okay, so you've got options there with that second exercise. So let's start with our weighted glute raise down on the floor. Okay, pull those heels in, get that weight on your hip. Lift, half, up, pause. Push through those heels, one and a half. Pause at the end. Push through the heels. Good. Got to connect mind to body on this. Chances are we're not using as heavy a weight as we can. Our glute is a very strong muscle. Okay, so since we don't have a super heavy weight here, all right, let's switch to our Bulgarian split squat. Since you don't have a super heavy weight, I really need you to connect mind to body here. All right, I'm all set up. Drop that back knee and up. We're gonna do one leg and then the other. Use your mirror here. How much bend can you get on your front leg? For me, as you know, <laughs> I'm not very flexible. So I also feel this a lot in my hip flexor here in that back leg. Break, set up for your other leg. Take a good step out. You do not want your knee, gotta find my balance. You do not want your knee coming over your toe here. If it is, you gotta take a bigger step out away from your elevation. Good. I hear my armoire behind me. This old chimney cabinet, let's hope it doesn't tip over. I don't know if the sound is picking up at all, <laughs> but mm, things are happening back there that are making me nervous. Break. All right, let's get back down on the floor for our weighted glute raise. Pull those heels in, stacked under the knees. You've got 15 seconds to make this transition. Push through those heels, make it a one and a half. My heart rate is up from those split squats. That's good. Push. Push through those heels. One and a half, pause. Pause, really think about squeezing those glutes at the top. Break, quick switch. Grab your weights over here for the split squat. I try to switch up what leg I start with, if you can remember. Here we go, quick, 
Get your balance set. Try to get some nice bend on that front leg without it coming. Um, knee does not come over the toe. Push through the heel. Good. Stay with me here. Good. Switch sides. If I can do it without knocking the cabinet over. Woo! <laughs> it's a little added element of excitement. You all can continue watching the video and wonder, is Meg gonna get hit in the head with the cabinet, crushed under the cabinet? <laughs> it keeps you watching. You never know what's gonna happen here. Push through that heel. Try to get as much bend in that front leg as you can. Look in your mirror. How low can you get in that split squat? Break. All right, let's go. Third time through. Get down for that weighted glute raise. Pull those heels in. Get that weight set. Lift those toes off the ground. One and a half. Pause. It's just like the one and a half is really just like a little pulse at the top. Up, pulse, pause. Up, pulse, pause. Push through those heels. If you're pushing through those heels, you should get some good burn on that inner knee as well. Okay, put that weight down, quick, quick, quick. This is the fastest, uh, I think. This first one is the hardest one to get set. Okay, step out. Last time, last 30 seconds on this leg, down and up. They're burning. That's good, this is leg day. Means change is happening. You gotta embrace it, don't push it away. Embrace that burn. Embrace that challenge. It's easy to stay in a comfort zone, but you gotta challenge yourself. And doing this yourself at home, break, to challenge yourself is an even bigger component to these workouts. Real easy to tap out right about here. Go switch the laundry. Check your emails, here we go. So, this is for you. Stay in it, get low, look in your mirror, challenge, you can do it. It's like when the gym teacher looked at you and you quit doing whatever you were doing when they look away. Don't be that person, stay in it here. Fight through the burn. Break, nice job. Okay, get a sip of water and I'll talk you through the banded exercises here. All right, with our bands, this round we're working our quads. So get that loop band around your ankle to start. We're going to do the straight leg quad raise. Hold on to the wall if you need it. Otherwise, engage that core, find your balance here. We're gonna do that straight leg quad raise. I want tension in the band the whole time. There's no tension here. There's slack. Tension the whole time. Look at your mirror. How much stretch can you get? And back to tension. My quad is under tension the entire time. 30 seconds left, 30 seconds right. Then get that band under your feet quickly. We're going to do a bent leg quad raise. So, Bending my leg, keeping this thigh as high as possible. Lift, lift. I want this thigh as high as possible. Hip flexors, hello, we're using you here, okay? Left and right. So get your loop band around your ankles to start. Let's get the banded portion of our uh, series here going. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. Hold the wall if you need to. Keep tension in that band. Find your balance. 
If it's just too much for you, you can switch it halfway, and I'll tell you when that is. Halfway, if you need to switch. Otherwise, stick to this one side. I like the burn. I'm trying to get burn here, and 30 seconds gives it to me. Embrace it, push through it. Okay, shake that out. Let's hit the other leg. I'll also give you the halfway point here if you need to um, switch legs. Get your balance if you're not holding onto the wall. Keep tension in that band. Look in your mirror, do you have tension? Now I'm also feeling it on my plant leg because I just used it. All right, switch. That's halfway if you're gonna switch. Otherwise, push through. Stay with me here and push through. Mercy. I unfortunately picked up a new band. Oh, okay, now get that band under your feet here. We're gonna do the bent leg quad raise. I want you to think about getting that thigh up as high as possible. Here we go. Pulse it up there. Tension in that band the whole time. I'll tell you the halfway if you need to switch. Otherwise, work through that burn. Whew. Switch if you're going to switch. Otherwise, stay with me. It burns. I'm trying to watch my mirror so that my thigh doesn't sneak down too far. Stay with me. Oh, my. All right, let's hit the other side. Here we go. Want to get that thigh up there? Here we go. Nice. Tension in that band. Find your balance. Breathe. Switch if you're going to switch. Otherwise, stay right here. Mm, give that burn a great big hug. We got this. Fight through it with me. Break. Nice job. All right, we've got our explosive cardio here. Kick that band off. Explosive cardio is simply lateral hops. I really want you to think about the push off, both laterally and vertically here. Push, jump, push, jump, all right? I really, you know, you can do this that way, which is fine. There's your modification. But if you want to take this up a knot, it's going to be push and explode, all right? So, lateral hops. Let's finish off the second series here. Push, explode, push, explode, good. How much air can you get under those feet? I feel like I'm gonna hit my head. Push, push. Work it here. All right, we're on to series three here. Our weighted portion, we are going to be doing a one-legged deadlift here. So, you're gonna grab a weight. I'm gonna hold it in one hand for my deadlifts. You certainly can hold one in each hand, that helps with balance a little bit, or hold one with your hands on either end of it. With this deadlift, sometimes I do the kickstand um, uh, deadlift. This time I'm going to be raising that back leg. So just same principles here. I hinge at the hip, just like when I do the uh, Romanian stiff-legged deadlift here. This weight's going to ride down my front. At the same time, my back leg comes up. My neck stays neutral, and I come back up. All right. We're going to do 30 seconds on one side. 30 seconds on the other side. Then we've got the 
the box squat. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes, which has a tiny font, which is why I have the bench here. You think that would have been my clue? Meg, there's a bench behind you. Right, we're doing the box squat here. Sweet Marie. So, we're going to start in the seated position. You guys at home have a chair. If you have a bench, great. Uh, but you've got a chair, a firm chair, not one with too much cushion here, a firm chair to start. I'm going to sort of place a, a dumbbell on each shoulder here. All right, you can also do these with no weight if you really struggle with these. I start down at the bottom, seated to get my positioning, and I wanna come up in one unit. Push through those heels, back down. Push up and back down. What we don't want you to do is sort of come forward, lift the butt, and then come back up to position. Too much on your lower back. That's not what we want to see there. We want to see a nice, strong movement pushing through those heels up. Okay? And if you cannot do that without this forward lean butt movement, then do it with no weights. All right? So those are our two weighted exercises. That's enough talking from me. Let's get going with our one-legged deadlifts. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start with my left leg plant. Keep that toe pointed down. Keep that neck neutral. And keep that weight close to your shins. Good. Your leg and torso. Move is one unit here. You don't do the leg and then bend forward. It's a simultaneous movement. Good, let's switch sides. I got my right leg plant this time. Here we go. Keep that toe pointed down. Neutral neck, weight close to your shin. Try to keep those hips square. Don't open up those hips in the back. You wanna keep, oh, lost my balance there. Keep those hips square. Squarely facing forward, not opening up in the back. Break, put that down. Come over to your bench, your seat. Get your weights ready if you're using them. If you have a bar here, here we go. Use a bar, hold it behind you. This becomes a back squat. Push through those heels. If you have light weights, and this is no problem, you should get quite a few reps in here. If you struggle, no weights, and concentrate on coming up in one unit. Not leaning forward. Think about a string pulling you from the top of your head up to the ceiling. Break. Let's go back to those deadlifts. This time I'm gonna start with my right leg plant. Again, you can hold two dumbbells or hold one dumbbell end to end if that helps with Balance. The other thing, if you don't have uh, a um, mirror, is you can videotape yourself. Sorry, I just messed up. For to look at your own form. So have somebody help you out or set it up yourself. Watch on your computer and then use your phone to videotape yourself, to look at your form. It's important. We do it for when we're training young athletes all the time to show them. Okay, I can say it all day long, but seeing it is a whole different ball game. So, in my head, it's like when I play volleyball. In my head, I think I'm soaring above the net. When I see it in reality, it really isn't happening. <laughs> so that's the helpful nature of video tool is 
you can see your form in reality and see how you're doing, what needs to be fixed or tweaked there. Easy to do. And it's a helpful tool. I'm a visual person, so anytime I can get a visual cue, it helps me tremendously. All right, remember that string, pulling your head up. You're a puppet, pulls you right up to the ceiling. Push through those heels. You're not bending forward. Head right up. Good. If you can do heavy weights here, do it. Otherwise, give me a lot of reps. Good. Last round here with our weights. I'm going to start back on my left side. Here we go. Like when I work out with Cindy, she's always my goal. How high is Cindy's leg? How straight is Cindy's leg? That's what I'm always trying to strive for. <laughs> when I'm by myself, it's a little harder to find that visual motivation. But that's the same boat we're all in at home by ourselves, right? Find the motivation, keep it going, and push yourself. We strive for perfection. None of us ever get it, but that's what we're striving for here. Good. With every workout, what can I learn? How can I push it a little bit harder? Just to challenge myself, can I get in an extra rep? Doesn't always have to be a heavier weight. Was my form better? Can I get in one more rep? Break, box squat one last time. So if you do have a bar, you would just have it behind your head here for a back squat. Down, up. I'm going to go a little faster this time. I'm just barely tapping my behind on my chair. Push through that heel. Good. Also depends on how high your chair is or low. Break. All right, let's move on to the banded exercises. Grab your loop band, get it right below your knee. We're gonna be doing sumo squats here. So get that weight or that band rather right below the knee and we get into the sumo position. I'm already a little upset with myself because I've got a new band. So Knees and toes are going in the same direction with my sumo. It's an exaggerated, as we always say, stance here, okay? I get down into that sumo. Again, I'm using my mirror because I can see how low am I getting. You know, I may be here and I think I'm killing it and I look in the mirror and I go, that's not low, that's low, okay? So use your mirror here. The first, uh, Exercise, we're going to just do a sumo squat with the band. I'm thinking about knees going back, my torso stays upright, and I'm pushing through my heels. This band is wanting your knees to pull in, so you really have to think about knees back, okay? Second exercise is just gonna be down into that sumo pulse. Knees back, stay low and pulse. Then we'll go back to the sumo squat and then the pulse, okay? So get your band on right below the knee. I don't want it cutting into that kneecap. You can, I don't know if you can see uh, mine, but it's pretty, mine's below the kneecap, well below the kneecap here, okay? Let's get going with our sumo, banded sumo squat, exaggerated stance. You got your mirror down, up, push through the heels, knees go back. Just thinking about my knees going back, 
I feel it in my glutes so much more. I know you're always like, oh Meg, I get it mind to body. I'm telling you, <laughs> there's science behind it. All right, think about those glutes. Knees back, inner thighs, push through the heels. Break, shake that out. We're gonna get back into the sumo. And we're gonna stay down for the pulse here. That band wants to pull my knees in. We don't want that to happen. Down and pulse. Push through those heels. Torso stays upright. How low can you get? If that's, oh my goodness, I can't do this for 30 seconds. Just come up real quick, shake it out, and get back down to it, okay? Knees are back and stay low here. And it's really, oh, I just looked in the mirror. Gotta get low. Back, 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 back. Ah, oh. okay. Let's go back to our sumo squat. Get reset my band a little bit. It was coming up on me. Here we go. I, I'm trying to make it better. The reality is I have a new band. It ain't gonna get better. It is what it is. But I'm enjoying the full range of motion here. Knees back. Push through the heels. I don't want you coming up on those toes. Push through the heels. Torso stays upright. Knees back. Break. Okay. Let's get it set for the pulse. All right, I gotta watch myself. I think I snuck up a little bit last time. Here we go, down. Low and pulse, push through the heels. Good. Push. I mean, I've got burn happening here. Now I just thought knees back, I got it happening back there. So I'm just going to pray here to get through my last 10 seconds and get down lower. I just did a mirror check. Knees back. Oh, break. All right, take that band off. Band is off. I moved a bench out of the way. Our explosive cardio here, three options. Modified jump squat, modified jump squat without the jump, or a straight up jump squat, okay? Straight up jump squat, I get down, jump and land soft. I wanna get as much air as I can under those feet and I wanna land soft. Modified jump squat, I'm just down, together, down, together, down. Uh, no jump, just becomes down reach, down reach. We call it a mountaintop squat also, okay? So th those are your three levels. Remember, one time, 30 seconds, one time. That's all we got here. So here we go. I'm gonna be doing jump squats. There's modified jump squats and there's mountaintop jump squats. You pick your poison here, land soft with these and get me air under those feet. Nice. Try to keep that chest upright. I don't want you totally folding in half here with these. We're almost there. My thighs are burning. Break. Well done. On to series four. Final series. Final series. Our weighted exercises are as follows. Let's start with sumo, right? We already warmed up those thighs with the band exercises earlier. So let's now use a weight for the sumo squat and uh, really finish it off. So as before, my stance is exaggerated, knees and toes in the same direction. You've got options on how you hold your weights, okay? Uh, if you have one weight, 
You can hold it vertically here. Sometimes I like to hold it vertically because it gives me a, a goal on how low to get. When that, that dumbbell taps, that's a nice low sumo, okay? Push through those heels. If you're like, ugh, I can't get low enough, then hold it this way, okay? Great, pushing through those heels. Some of you like to hold it wrapped up here to your shoulders. You can do that if you have one heavy weight like this. If you've only got light weights at home, you can have them both up here, but you can also hold them both down here if you're going with light weights, um, if that's what you have at your home gym, okay? So we're thinking about pushing through those heels, knees back, and keep my torso upright. We have a tendency to fold forward, especially when we're using weights. Uh, and then with that, I'm actually just gonna use the same weight. I'm gonna put it back here on the meat of my, it's on the meat of my back here. It's not on my spine, it's on the meat of my back, uh, resting on, on my back here, and I'm gonna be doing good mornings. Now, I'm holding on to this weight so that it doesn't roll forward onto my neck, okay? So, hinging at the hip, my core is tight and engaged. Same movement as the deadlift, the stiff legged deadlift. I go down and I pull back up. Having the, the weight behind me rather than in front of me works my glutes in a little bit of a different way. If having a weight back there is too much, then you're just going to do it without a weight. If you have a bar, hold the bar back there. If you have, I got a sand bell here. These are perfect for, um, uh, for good mornings because they're nice and soft, okay? So you've got some options there on your good morning, okay? Those are the two we're gonna cycle through. Let's get it going here. Starting with the sumo your torso back, push through those heels, knees back, good. Look in your mirror, how low are you getting in this? Push through the heels. I feel it so much more if I push through the heels and at the same time I'm thinking about my knees going back. Don't fold in half, I don't want your shirt to disappear on me. Good. I'm gonna oh, get that same weight back on my my uh, back muscles back there. Hinge at the hip for the good morning. Hold that weight. I don't want it rolling forward on my neck at all. Nice tight core. Nice flat back. If you have a hump in your back, your core is not engaged. Nice movement. I kind of like the stretch that this forces in my hamstring. Keep that neck neutral. Look between your feet here. Okay. Take that weight back to our sumos. I like this workout because it's always changing it up. We've got our supersets, here we go. We got our band work. And we throw in a dash of explosive strength. That's, that's a, it's a good recipe in my book. As, as you all know, I am not the cook, that's Cindy. Uh, this is my kind of recipe here. The workout, the workout kind. Good. If you've got heavy weights, break, you're probably not getting in as many reps. If you've got lighter weights, give me more reps with these leg exercises. Let's go to good mornings. Keep that on your back. Hinge at the hip, tight core, neutral neck. Thinking about those hamstring and glutes as you go down and pull up. 
good. Almost there. Good. Let's head back for our last round of sumo here. Get your legs set, knees and toes, same direction. Push through those heels. Good. Knees back. I forgot to open the door. It's hot down here. <laughs> I need a fan. And there's a heat duct right over my workout space. Uh, break. Last set of good mornings here. Then we'll get right into our band work. There we go. Hold that weight. Engage that core. Think about your hamstrings and glutes. Hinge at the hip, send my booty back. Keep those legs straight but not locked. And give those hamstrings a nice stretch there. Well done. All right, let's get our bands in. Last set of bands here. We've got the ski squat wide squat or regular squat. We're gonna go off to the right side for 30 seconds, then off to the left side for 30 seconds. So to get this one started, I start this close stance with the band above my knees here at my, at my thighs. I go back for that ski squat to show you how, no. first of all, I'm blind, so it doesn't help that I can't see anything, but I'm trying see see what you guys can see and it's not working for me um, so close ski booty back I try to get bend in that leg okay the more bend you're gonna get the more burn you're gonna get and the higher your heart rate's gonna go so I got a ski squat regular ski regular from the side I'm low ski regular ski regular one side then the other side we'll do it twice all right so get that band in the position above your knee and we'll get going here. I'm gonna go off to the right. Ski regular. Use your mirrors. How much bend do you have in your leg? Can you challenge yourself here? My plant leg is burning a lot. <laughs> Stay with me. You've got it. Break. Shake that out. Let's go to the other side. Oh. <sighs> All right. Let's head to the left. Ski. Good stretch in that band. Oh, mercy. The combination of weights and bands for leg day. Win. Oh, stay with me here. Break. Whew. All right. As a gift, we're going to switch back and forth this time. So just do what I do here. Let's go to the right. Good. Stay low. Check yourself. Booty back. All right, let's go to the other side. You're welcome. <laughs> That's my like day gift for you. Good. One more 
third time, we're gonna go to the left. We'll start to the left this time. We'll switch it up halfway again. Here we go. Good stretch in there. Stay low. Check your mirror. Burn is good. Give it a nice hug with your brain. Other side. Oh, stay with me here. It's repetition of band work. It's where the magic happens. Stay with me. Ah, oh, you did it. Nice work. All right, take that band off. Last explosive cardio here. We're just gonna do some squat jacks. Now, with the squat jack, I got the bent legs here. Bottom of my squat jack, up. My hands are overhead. Back down, up. Okay, if that's too much for you at this point, just give me the step outs. If you're like, I wanna end it with a bang, then give me star jumps, okay? I'm sticking with the squat jacks here for this final <laughs> explosive. So get the room you need and let's finish this. Star jumps, squat jacks, or step outs. Here we go. Touch those hands overhead, bend those legs at the bottom. Excellent workout today. We always love a good leg day. I burned an ample amount of calories. We really only had four cardio exercises. Break. And just with those four cardio exercises, I still burn a nice amount of calories as we're working our big muscles of our lower body. So got a really good workout in, mixing up bands and weights, super set at everything, uh, so it was efficient, which is why I'm going to tell you, go find Cindy's stretching video. It's nice and long, comprehensive, uh, and it's gonna give you a nice long stretch after this leg day workout. Uh, so, good job, you stuck with me, you worked hard, I'm proud of you. Uh, go get a good stretch.